we are still in the topic about measures of relative position. Percentiles. So percentile or percentiles is among the measures of relative position. Percentiles is associated with other words that sounds pretty much like percentile, percent, percentage, or percentile. So they came from the same uh, root word. So these words have the same etymology, but they are not synonymous, okay? So they do not mean the same thing, but they are somewhat related to each other. It came from the Latin word percentum, by the hundred. So what is a percentile? The nth percentile of a data set is the value x at which n percent of the data values is less than or equal to x. So let's say, for example, you took an examination, which is designed to measure your, your verbal competence. And uh, the institution who gave this exam showed this table to you. Let us interpret the meaning of this table. What is the meaning of these numbers? So the numbers in this column are the actual scores in the exam. Maybe the exam had uh, 60 points. 60 items, and so these are the A scores. The second column is what we call the percentile. So what is the meaning of this? So let's say, for example, a score of 44 has a percentile score of 97. What does that mean? It means that 97% of the scores in the examination is less than or equal to 44. So let's say, for example, uh, you are 200 who took the examination and your score is 44 and your percentile rank is 97, 97 percentile. Well, what that means is your score is better than 97% of the students who took the same examination. Let's say, for example, your score is 25. Its percentile score is 36. What is the meaning of that? It means that your score is 25, but 36% of the students who took that exam had scores that are less than or equal to 25. It's another way of saying you did better than 36% of the students who took the exam. And if your score or if your percentile score is 97, that means you did better than 97% of the students who took the exam. You know what? Sometimes the actual scores are not shown. What is shown to you is your percentile rank or percentile score. Maybe you can still recall your NCAE. N -C -A -E. In my time, what we had was NCEE. -E. So I first heard about the percentile because of the results of my NCEE. -E. And my NCEE. -E says my percentile score was 98. I was happy to know that I did better than 98% of the students who took that same exam. After one year, I moved into college and I discovered that I was sitting behind students whose score in the NCEE was 99% or 99 percentile. So again, that is how you can interpret it. That's the layman's language about how to say it. If you receive your percentile score, let's say, for example, your percentile score is 84 percentile or 84 percent, what that means is your score is better than 84 percent of, of the students who took that same exam. So again, it's a measure of relative position. How to find the nth percentile of an ordered data set? Okay, so let's say, for example, we are given this ordered data. Those are the scores and, and these are the ranks. What is the 96th percentile? So we do this. N divided by 100 times capital N. Small n is the percentile score divided by 100 times the size of the population. So 96 over 100 times 16, it's equal to 15.36. Rounding it to the nearest integer, it's 15. So we will look for 
the data value that occupies the rank of 15. It's 121. If this is the scores in an examination and your score is 121, the relative position of 121 in relation to the other scores of your classmates in the class is 96 percentile.